BlackRock is the world's largest asset manager with over $10 trillion of assets under management. This makes companies like Vanguard and Fidelity look like small potatoes. Now, recently BlackRock's chairman and CEO Larry Fink was interviewed on everything going on in the world of investing right now. Now, obviously being the CEO of BlackRock, Larry is definitely someone worth paying attention to. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look at two main things. First, Larry gives his overview on everything going on in the world of investing as he sees it. And then on to huge news for all crypto investors as he drops a major bombshell. As always, if you do enjoy anything in the video, then drop a like, always appreciated. Okay, first up, as one of the key messages of this channel is never just copy off one single person, but gather multiple reference points. Where better than the CEO of the world's largest asset manager? Hi, everyone. Um, I, I think there's, you know, many great things going on in the world and the economy. Obviously, it's being, um, it's being hit in the narrative and obviously the reality of really elevated inflation. Uh, markets that are down 18% in equities, down pretty close to 18% in bonds, the appreciation of the dollar. So there's a whole reset in the marketplace. And um, and the, the reality, the U.S. is feeling much less pain than other parts of the world because of the dollar appreciation um, and, uh, and other issues. But, but um, I actually believe inflation will be abating very rapidly. It will abate rapidly. Yeah, I mean, is it going to go back down to 2%, which is their objective? That's going to be hard, and that's going to be the fundamental issue. Where Where is an acceptable level of inflation. I mean, in my 40 something years of being in markets, you would have dreamed for three or 4% inflation. So uh, we set this target now of 2%, which can be debated why too, and I've had conversations on that. Um, my biggest worry is not that we're not gonna see a falling of inflation back to three or 4%. My biggest worry is the world is losing hope. Um, we, are, we have seen a collapse in, in, in birth rates and demographics. We're actually going to enter a period of more what I would call malaise. Uh, we are all seeing um, the transformation of China. China going from what I would have called a very economic-minded economy to more ideological economy. We're seeing the attendant effects on that and we're seeing a Chinese economy slowing down to a three. We have the European economy that is really fundamentally changed right now related to the Russian gas and the cost of energy and the fiscal support by governments. And so I believe after we get out of this real spike in inflation, we're going to be waking up to a world that's going to be a two-ish, three percent world with maybe three or four percent inflation. And I think that's going to be the fundamental issue that we're going to be facing. And so interestingly, he talked about a big reset in the market. All major asset classes have been hit. High inflation, war in Europe, dollar appreciation. However, he's in the camp that inflation will be coming down quite quickly. And the number one problem that he sees is loss of hope. So what does this mean? Well, BlackRock's main strategy is attracting the long-term investor, people who invest for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, aiming to get a 7 to 8% annual return and build up a nice big nest egg for retirement. But if people lose hope, then they're less likely to invest in the long term. And his biggest fear is a world where stocks and bonds are only giving 2% when inflation is running at 4%. Okay, next up, time for some huge crypto news. Larry Fink gave some very surprising remarks on crypto, and in fact, how crypto could completely change the investing landscape. Check this out. Oh, I actually believe most of the companies are not going to be around. I still believe that. I do believe because that. They're, but, because they're now real, they're frauds, they're what? 
Well, I mean, look, think about FTX. I mean, you can look back now. FTX created it. Its failure was it's creating its own token. It was not a DeFi. It wasn't a, it wasn't a you know, a, a ledger that was open to the world. It was a closed ledger. Right. It was not distributed. So the whole foundation of what crypto is, it's supposed to be a distributed ledger that is across the system. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of the huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, oh, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it. It changes the whole ecosystem. You don't need trust banks. But does that disrupt you eventually? Because you are custodian all of these we don't, assets. No, we're not a custodian. No, I, I mean, the transformation. Think about it, instantaneous settlement, right. bonds and stocks. Um, no middlemen. We're going to bring down fees even more dramatically. Um, as for me, I don't have to vote on any shares anymore because the beneficial owner We'll do all the voting. They'll okay, have well, it. And that's where I want to go with this conversation. Okay, I knew I was going to take you there. Th thank you. <laughs> um. So some huge points being made here. Firstly, he sees the future being ETFs. And this is like similar to an index fund where you buy a whole bunch of companies together and you don't take the risk of just investing into one single company. And subsequently, this is why I loved Crypto20 so much. But I'll talk more on that in a video coming very soon. But essentially, ETFs and index fund outperform the vast majority of investors, both professional and retail investors over time. That's the important point. Now, he mentions that crypto technology is going to be hugely important and that the next generation of financial markets is going to be the tokenization of securities. Imagine the stock market getting rebuilt onto a blockchain. The bond market getting rebuilt onto a blockchain. The who's buying and who's selling will be done by code getting rid of the intermediaries. As we know, this is also instantaneous settlement and it completely changes the whole ecosystem. So I can officially say Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, now gets it. And this is probably why they recently launched a blockchain ETF and partnered with Coinbase for up and coming crypto custody. So there you are guys, hope you enjoyed. This was epic news coming from BlackRock and it makes me even more confident that the next bull run in crypto is going to be epic. Can you imagine the global stock market and global bond market being moved over onto crypto rails? And this has come from the CEO of BlackRock himself. So seriously, how much bigger news do you want from today? Glad to share. And for now, just to say, if you did enjoy anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.